Hello friends, welcome back. It is March 3rd and I am Zone 7AB, Virginia, and I'm planting my cool weather crops inside my greenhouse today because they are getting too large for the small containers. Let me show you. So over here I have some cabbages, some Napa cabbages, and some peas. I started these indoors about two weeks ago. Once they sprouted, I brought them outside into my greenhouse and they have been growing in here. And now it is time to put them inside my unheated greenhouse. So I am creating this step process for my gardening this year where I start my plants indoors. I bring them inside my heated greenhouse so they, they can acclimatize. And then once they've acclimatized a little bit, I'm gonna put them into my unheated greenhouse and hopefully jumpstart the season by about four to five weeks. So this right here is my unheated greenhouse, but with the sun, this thing can get very hot. So I need the extra protection at night so that these can survive, but that's the goal. But I know for a fact, these are cool weather crops like broccoli and peas. So this will be able to survive in here, no problem. But just having that extra heat during the daytime will make them grow so much faster than if I was to plant them just outdoors. Here's the inside of the greenhouse. There's stuff growing in here, but some of it is bolting already because it's a little bit old and from last year. So I need to replace it and put in some new plants in here. So that's where these come in and they're gonna go in here now. Spring is full of work, my friends. I just spent the last 25 minutes planting out there's two raised beds here and it was a lot of work because I have this little bamboo grass that grows in here. So I have to dig it out every single time that I am working in here. I dig it out every single spring and every single fall. I need to dig it out. This thing was covered. This whole area was covered in bamboo grass when I bought the place and I've been trying to eradicate it. But unless I put a perimeter around the whole yard, it will still come in every single year. And that undertaking is too much for me right now. Let me show you what the seedlings look like now. And hopefully in about a couple of weeks, we'll be harvesting broccoli, some Napa cabbages, and some cabbages out of here. So I have these right here. These are cabbages. You see, they have really good size on them. And then I have this tiny little broccoli. Uh, hopefully it makes it. If not, I have these other broccoli right here that are big. And over here, I decided to put in my sweet peas. I'm gonna have to build a small little trellis so they climb on that. And in here, I have some Napa cabbages. And in the end here, I have some bok choy. And I cleared out this little area here so I can put in more Napa cabbage. This is miner's lettuce. It grows like a weed around here. I'm feeding it to the quail. They eat it, they enjoy it. But inside here, I also have some spinach and I am going to have to make space for the spinach otherwise this miner's lettuce is going to just shade it out i've been working all day in the garden today i'm potting up some things i am putting seedlings into the ground and i need to start more seedlings in the greenhouse and inside my house because i need to plant a bunch more peppers and eggplants if you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. Please give it a thumbs up and a like, and make sure you're following and subscribing wherever you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you on the next one.